Hello again. So in today's video, we will, um, I will discuss the uh, the big controversy between um, convert or revert. The adjective, whether we should call ourselves uh, converts or reverts, or reverts. Let's start with my position. My position is I want to be mentioned or 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 called a convert. Now, that being said, if someone else wants to call themselves a revert, I'm okay with this. You can call yourself the way you want. But when you refer to me and you refer to me as a revert, I always will correct you. Because for me, and I am to decide what I am, I am a convert. Now, the reason I decided to make this video is because I had, I had several uh, uh, born Muslims that they couldn't understand the controversy, and they asked me to explain, and I did in person. Um, but also I had many converts that, especially converts from Greece, that they come to me and they're like, oh, we are reverts. That's not convert, it's revert. Okay, hold your horses. Um, I know what it is. And I, I'm, I'm very specific. I mean, most most uh, most converts, they, they repeat whatever the Salafis have told them, which is, oh, you're revert now. I have, I tend to uh, give a thought to everything. So let me let me go to the point. So the, the notion of revert is someone that was always Muslim and now simply reinstalled itself to its natural position. Okay? And this is the Salafi uh, first of all the, 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 the term re revert didn't exist 20 years ago. When I started studying Islam and started coming in contact with Salafis um, because that was the only available. The, 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 the term revert didn't exist. The, revert, the term revert is, 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 is a modern term of the last 10 years or so. 15 years or so. Before we were converts. <laughs> um, so the, the idea of the, of the Salafis and the idea of the, um, those that they like to call themselves rivers is that, oh, we are all born Muslims. So those of us, uh, we simply return to our nature, to our fitra. Mm, okay, if you say so, because the term convert indicates change. And I went through this change. And I know the struggle. Mm? As a convert, I had to challenge my knowledge, my identity, my understanding of my surroundings, not my values, okay? When it comes to values and principles, when I read the Quran, I felt that it speaks to my heart. I felt that I have the same values, you know, it, resona it resonates with me. But when it comes to my notions, when it comes to my understanding, I grew up in Greece. Islamophobia in Greece is in 99% of the population and it's very strong. I had to change all of that. And that's why it took me 20 years to convert. I had to come in conflict with family and fr not so much family because my family, they were very supportive of me, but, but um, friends, um, the community. I remember that when I started covering myself in Greece, Everyone was looking at me like if I was an alien. Um, even at workplace, I had problem. So, but the most the, the most prominent struggle was within me, my ideas, my notions, my identity. Also, so so, so if you call me a, re a revert, a revert, oh, I was always like that. I just returned. It it erases all the struggle, and I don't know if any other convert had it so easy and may God bless you, but most of us, especially women converts, because we wear the hijab and because of whatever, we have it very difficult. It's very difficult for us. So calling me a revert, telling me that, oh, you were always there, you just returned. No, Habibi, that's not how it happened. I didn't simply return somewhere. Another thing is that by stating that everyone is born Muslim, and then if you ask them, they go into pirouettes, uh, philosophical and intellectual periods that oh, we mean the nature everyone by nature is Muslim 
No, no. Everyone by nature is a believer. Yes, a muminin. Oh, no, a muminin is a plural. A mumin, yes. A believer and a Muslim is not the same thing. A Muslim is someone who follows Islam. A believer can be Christian. A believer can be Jew, because we all believe in the same God. Mm -hmm. So by, by stating that everyone is born a Muslim, you erase automatically every other faith, every other Abrahamic religion, you erase Christianity, you erase Judaism. God never told us to do that. God never told us to disrespect Christians and Jews. If anything, the Quran came as a support. It's, it's the last revelation. It's the last of the three uh, Abrahamic religions. And it came to correct some misunderstanding and, and mispractices. So stating that everyone is born Muslim cancels and erases and devalues the other two religions of Allah and their believers. Now, in my family, there are, I mean, friends and family are Christians. Uh, I have colleagues and, and, and um, colleagues in the university that they are Jews, and I absolutely respect and love them. I will never disrespect that much. And this, this, is, a, this is a Salafi, a narcissistic idea that, oh, we Muslims, everyone is like us, and everyone else is being lost, and we are the correct. No, that's not how it goes. And if you have this pride and this ego, I don't think that it goes along with Islam. In Islam, we are supposed to be, you know, humble. And not humble in speaking our mind. Humble in respect of, you know, being kind and understanding and respecting each other. Humanity, not uh, each other as the Muslims. You know, humanity. God told us that made us in, in different, uh, you know, nations so that we will learn from each other. So to conclude, the term revert is, a, for me, it's very offensive. It dismisses the struggles of converts uh, and also it has a narcissistic essence of um, disrespecting and invalidating the other Abrahamic religions. Um, so... And also shows that people don't don't know the difference between a believer, um, a mumin, and, and 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 a Muslim. So learn better. And uh, I mean, if you want again, if you want to call yourself whatever, call yourself whatever. You want to call yourself a kangaroo, I will call you a kangaroo, but don't call me a kangaroo. So when people refer to me, it's convert. I'm a convert, and I will always be a convert, and I will always correct people that they call me anything other than convert. So. That is all, and this is again, this is my opinion. Uh, there is, uh, and then, yeah, before I conclude, let me remind all of you that uh, the, first, the first Muslims, the Prophet himself, were converts. A convert is someone that has chosen to follow Islam as a religion and has paid the price for that. And this is exactly what happened to the Prophet, and this is exactly what happened to the companions of the Prophet, the first Muslims. None of them was born Muslim. All of them were born in the uh, religion of their tribes, um, the religion of the uncle of the Prophet. Remember the story of the uncle of the Prophet, where the Prophet was very sad because his uncle wouldn't convert from his, you know, religion of birth. And then the Quran came down and revealed that, oh, you cannot you know, change, you cannot guide whomever you want, you just deliver the message and then it's good. So it's the same thing. The Prophet was practicing the religion because the, the revelation of the Quran started when the Prophet was 40 years old. In all these years, he was not non-religious. Um, there are some people who say, no, you know, he was abstaining. We don't have any evidence about that. No evidence, no, no hadith, nothing. What we know is that he was raised by his uncle, his uncle supported him, and his uncle never converted to Islam, which means that naturally the Prophet was following the religion that his uncle was following. So the Prophet himself and the first companions changed the religion and they paid the price. This struggle should be valued. So, 
and, and of course now you would be like, okay, we can call them reverts. Well, we, you can call them whatever you want. Mm. But this is something related to those of us that were converts. And it's good for us to remember it where, whenever born Muslims are trying to invalidate our faith based on our conversion. So that is all for now. I hope that those of you that you are born Muslims, you understand the difference in connotations. And those of you that you are converts, you understand as well. I mean, may God guide you and may you have the adjective that you want. But yeah, uh, think twice before you will simply parrot whatever born Muslims are telling you. And be humble, be humble on how you perceive and communicate your respect to other religions, other Abrahamic religions. That is all for me, for now. <laughs>